Chapter 311. I see, that Joe Zegan left in a hurry, and he must have gone to the auction. This kind of rare thousand-year-old snow lotus, there will definitely be many people vying for it. He Zegang suddenly realized, knowing why Joe Zegan did not do business, and left in a hurry. Then we're going to the auction to see it. David's heart was instantly overjoyed, if he could get the thousand-year-old snow lotus, his strength would be able to increase rapidly. He Zegang nodded and took David and the others straight to the auction. The auction is on the outskirts of Yuncheng City, a dome-shaped building with a taste of ancient Rome. At this time, outside the auction, luxury cars were crowded, which is usually not seen. It seems that many people are rushing to the Millennium Snow Lotus. Walking to the door, the staff seemed to be very familiar with He Zigang, and immediately took a number plate, and then said respectfully, Mr. He, this time the deposit needs to be paid 100 million. How much? He Zigang was taken aback, isn't it usually only 10 million? Why do you suddenly ask for a deposit of 100 million? Mr. He, today's situation is special. You should also know that there is a thousand-year-old snow lotus to be auctioned, so the auction deposit has increased to prevent malicious auctions. The staff explained carefully. He Zhigong's face was a little ugly, because he didn't have 100 million. I'll pay it. David saw that he Zigang might not have brought so much money, so he took the initiative to stand up and say. After David paid a deposit of 100 million, he got a number plate, and several people were put into the auction site. The previously unpopular and empty auction scene was now full of people. Many Yuncheng bosses were there. In the front row, Zhou Zijan was indeed there, chatting with people in a low voice. Seeing He Zigang and the others coming, Zhou Zigan was taken aback for a moment, but then he smiled lightly and nodded as a greeting. David and the others found their seats and sat down, quietly waiting for the appearance of the Millennium Snow Lotus. In the beginning, it was just some common medicinal herbs, not many people were interested, and many of them were unfilmed, and these people came for the thousand-year-old snow lotus. Brother David, I'm afraid the competition will be fierce this time. If you want this thousand-year-old snow lotus, do you have the right price in mind? He Zigang asked David in a low voice. David shook his head, how much money, I will take it. When He Zigang heard it, he didn't say anything. Sister Sonia, what on earth does your boyfriend do? How come you have so much money? You don't give it all, right? Giu Yufei is very curious about David's identity now. Looking at the way David spends money, it seems like tens of millions, hundreds of millions are nothing in his eyes, just like spending other people's money. He won't ask for my money, you really think he's eating soft rice? Sonia smiled slightly, looking at David with admiration in her eyes. Sonia found that David was more and more attractive to her. The unique temperament of David deeply fascinated her. Soon, after several rounds of auctions, the host picked up a large glass bottle with a snow lotus plant soaked in wine. Everyone, this is the protagonist of today's thousand-year-old snow lotus. You must know that we haven't seen snow lotus in Yuncheng for a while. This kind of thing is extremely difficult to pick, so fewer and fewer people pick it. This thousand-year-old snow lotus is still a Shanong used it to make medicinal wine himself, and we discovered it. The host introduced the origin of the thousand-year-old snow lotus, but there was already a lot of noise below. Damn, what the H3LL, isn't this a lie? He tricked us, it turned out to be a snow lotus making wine. Can this snow lotus last a thousand years? I don't think it has been a hundred years. You are all liars. What kind of auction, and a deposit of 100 million, what kind of thing? Seeing this snow lotus, everyone looked disappointed and yelled. Chapter 312 at this time, only David's eyes lit up, and his heart became excited. Even if the snow lotus was soaked in wine, he could still feel the surging aura in the snow lotus constantly rushing. Although this snow lotus looks small, and it has been soaked in wine for an unknown time, it has already lost its original luster, but this does not prevent David from liking it. Since these people don't know the goods, David is afraid that he will be able to pick it up today. The host was not moved by people scolding, and still smiled, the starting price of our thousand-year-old snow lotus is 100 million, and each increase cannot be less than 10 million, and the highest bidder wins, and the auction starts now. David didn't raise his cards to bid the price immediately, but waited for a while and looked at the reactions of the people around him. But just when David was about to raise his cards to bid, suddenly Zhou Zijan in the front row raised his cards, I'll offer 100 million. Seeing Zhou Zijan raising his placard, the people around him immediately started talking. Elder Zhou actually made an offer. Could it be that we are wrong? Dongrentang has a lot of money to buy such a thing for 100 million. Wait a minute, that Zhou Zijan is scheming, but he won't bid casually. 
Everyone focused their attention on Zhou Zijan, and after Zhou Zijan made the bid, he slowly got up and glanced at everyone. Everyone, this snow lotus is really in bad shape, and it's not even a thousand years old, but there are still hundreds of years old. Since this snow lotus is destined to come to our Yuncheng, we can't let it flow away. If it spreads out, wouldn't it humiliate the reputation of our medicine capital, so I bid to take it down, and you don't want it. Rob me. Everyone listened to Joe Zegan's words. Although not many people believed it, Joe Zegan made it clear that he couldn't snatch it from him. I'm afraid no one would dare to bid. After Joe Zegan finished speaking, he sat down, and the host gave Joe Zegan a dissatisfied look, but he didn't dare to get angry. He could only look at everyone and said, is there anyone else bidding? This snow lotus is definitely worth the money. The host desperately encouraged others to bid so that the auction could make more money, but no matter what the host said, no one dared to bid. With a helpless expression on the host's face, the host could only walk back to his position and pick up the hammer to knock it down. 110 million. Just when the host was about to hit the hammer, David suddenly raised the sign. With a happy expression on the host's face, he hurriedly looked at David, and everyone's eyes were also attracted by David. Joe Zegan frowned even more, and looked at David coldly, with a bit of anger in his eyes. This gentleman has paid 110 million, is there anyone else? The host said, looking at Joe Zegan. Because at this time, only Joe Zijan will continue to bid. 150 million. Joe Zijan slowly raised the number plate. All of a sudden, 40 million was added, and everyone looked at David. If they wanted to see if David would dare to add it, even the host also set his sights on David. 200 million. David raised the number plate without any hesitation. Wow. This time, everyone present took a deep breath. This mouth was 200 million, and it went up by 50 million directly. This is too willful. Brother David, it has risen too much. He Zigang whispered to David. Bidding at auctions is a little bit of a price increase, so that you can also test out the other party's reserve price. Sister Sonia, your boyfriend is so handsome. He doesn't open a bank, does he? Giu Yufei looked at David with curiosity in her eyes, as if she wanted to see through David. Chapter 313. It's not time for you to say he eats soft rice, now he looks handsome. Sonia smiled slightly, but she was also a little surprised, how did David have so much money, but she had already planned that even if David had no money, after taking this picture of Shuelian, she would call Reuben to ask for money, as the richest man in Horendal, the Sioux family still has a few hundred million. Joe Zegan looked at David fiercely, his eyes narrowed slightly, and a chill began to appear on his face. 210 million. Joe G looked at David dryly, gritted his teeth. 300 million. Without waiting for Joe Zegan's words to fall, David raised his card again. This time, everyone was dumbfounded, and they all became curious about David's identity, but the host smiled and shouted, This gentleman has already made 300 million, 300 million, is there anyone else bidding? I think this gentleman is not from Yuncheng. Don't we have anyone in Yuncheng to compete? If this spreads out, we will not dare to call the name of this medicine again. I have to say that this host is too good. He provokes David and Joe Zegan with a few words. Just now, Joe Zegan said that he was afraid of embarrassing Yuncheng. Now the host has mentioned it. Your own face. David glanced at the host on the stage and scolded him fiercely in his heart. This guy really knows how to sow discord in order to make people fight so that they can earn more money. 310 million. Joji gritted his teeth and raised his number plate again. David didn't hesitate, he was about to raise the number plate, but was held down by Hezi Gang. Brother David, even if it is a top-grade thousand-year-old snow lotus, it is not worth the price. Don't call it again. He Zigang persuaded David. The price at this time is already a premium, and it is no longer suitable to buy it, and you will definitely lose money when you buy it. Brother He, I have another use for this snow lotus. After David finished speaking, he held up the number plate in his hand again, 350 million. Wow. There was an instant commotion at the scene. Everyone looked at David with endless curiosity in their eyes. They wanted to know why David paid such a high price to buy this snow lotus. Even if you don't know much about medicinal herbs, you know that the price has long been overpriced. This thousand-year-old snow lotus is not worth it at all, let alone a thousand-year-old snow lotus that has been soaked in wine. Could it be that this young man had a grudge against Joe Zegan and deliberately targeted Joe Zegan? Such an idea popped up in everyone's mind, because other than this, they couldn't think of any other reason. Joe Zegan himself did the same, frowning tightly, and glared at David with a pair of eyes, Boy, are you deliberately going against the old man? I have no grievances with you, so why should I be against you? 
The rules of the auction are that the highest bidder wins. If Elder Joe likes it, you can continue to bid. David smiled lightly. Humph. This is Yunchung, don't be complacent. Zhou Zijan snorted coldly and led people away. Zhou Zigan got angry and left, and everyone looked at David with pitiful eyes. If they dared to offend Zhou Zigan in Yunchung, then there would definitely be no good fruit to eat. 350 million, the thousand-year-old snow lotus was obtained by this gentleman. The host happily knocked the hammer, and then respectfully handed the Tianchen snow lotus to David. David got Shuelian, put the remaining money into the account of the auction, and then followed He Zigang and they left. Today's goal has been achieved, so there is no need to stay at the auction. Brother David, you have offended that Joe Zigan now. I'm afraid he won't let it go. Besides, your transaction can't be carried out. Walking out of the auction, He Zigang said with a worried look. Chapter 314 No, don't worry, a businessman has no friends or enemies, only interests. I spend money to buy his medicinal materials, and he makes a profit from it. How can this business not be done, let alone a big client like me? It's not that easy to come across. David smiled lightly, not worried at all. Then, shall we still go to Tongrentang? He Zigang asked carefully. Of course, the things haven't been bought yet, why don't you go? David nodded and went straight to Tongrentang after getting in the car. In Tongrentang at this time, Zhou Zijan was furious. It makes no sense, there are still people in Yuncheng who dare to oppose me, I'm really mad at me. Zhou Ji threw the cup to the ground ruthlessly. Master, do you want me to bring someone back to intercept the Millennium Snow Lotus? A young man in a black suit with an ear missing from the left said. This person is Zhou Zigan's confidant. When Zhou Zigan was fighting and killing in Yuncheng in his early years, this young man was always by his side. Now, although Zhou Zigan has cleaned up, he has not driven him away. Zhou Zigan hesitated for a moment, then frowned slightly and said, Remember to find a place where no one else is, and don't let people make excuses. Zhou Zijan had a hard time cleaning up, and if he was told the truth, it would have a bad impact. But he really liked the thousand-year-old snow lotus. It wasn't that Zhou Zigan wanted to resell to earn the difference, but he wanted to use it as the treasure of the town store. The treasure of his current town store is a fake, there is no such thing at all. Thousands of years old, this is why Zhou Zijan would rather buy it at a premium. Master, don't worry, after so many years, I know how to do it. The young man nodded and turned to leave. But as soon as he turned around, he saw that David and He Zigang had walked in, and they couldn't help but be stunned. Zhou Zijan was unexpected when he saw that David dared to come to his store. Elder Joe, I'm here to complete the transaction that we haven't completed yet. We must do business with integrity. Since I said that I want to buy Lao Zhou's medicinal materials, I won't walk away halfway. David looked at Joe Zigan who was surprised and said with a faint smile. Integrity based. Joe Zigan snorted coldly, you took my thousand-year-old snow lotus, but I didn't expect you to come to my store. It seems that you really didn't take me seriously. What does Joe Lao say? I bought this thousand-year-old snow lotus with my own money, so how can I say that I took it from you? David pretended to be puzzled. Boy, don't put on a mother puking pretense, leave a thousand-year-old snow lotus, you can spare you from dying, get out of Yuncheng, or leave your life behind. The young man with one less ear said to David with a cold expression. As the youth's voice fell, a dozen people suddenly blocked the direction of the door, and the door slowly closed. This time, He Zigang and Ji Yu Yufei were all pale with fright, and Sonia was holding David's arm tightly. Old Joe, have something to say, this. Get aside, it's none of your business here. He Zigang wanted to talk and reconcile, but who knew that when he opened his mouth, he was scolded back by Joe Zigan, making him embarrassed. Are you planning to steal it? David still had a bit of a smile on his face, without the slightest fear. Boy, you are also a character, and you can still laugh at this time. What I admire most about Joe Zigan is you. You keep the thousand-year-old snow lotus, and I will give you three hundred million, and I will not let you lose too much. How about it? Joe Zegan saw that David was not afraid, and his face was flat, and his heart was a little hairy, for fear that there would be some power behind David. After all, such a young man who can control hundreds of millions at will is definitely not an ordinary person. So Joe Zegan planned to take a step back and spend money to buy the thousand-year-old snow lotus, which could be regarded as a step down for David. Chapter 315 What's the difference between following a bandit in your business? In the blink of an eye, I will lose 50 million, which is too good to earn. David sneered disdainfully. 
Joe Zegan's face turned slightly cold, then tell me, sell it for a lot of money, or I'll take it back at the original price. No amount of money to sell. David shook his head. Boy, are you trying to make a toast? Do you really want to force me to do it? Joe Zegan's face became more and more ugly. I advise you not to do it. If you don't do it, you are a businessman, and it is not normal to negotiate a deal, but once you do it, you are a black shop, and you don't need to say any rules to deal with the black shop. David's eyes narrowed slightly, and the murderous aura began to permeate his body. Damn, who are you kidding? The young man shouted angrily and smashed David with a punch. David pulled Sonia and pulled back slightly. Lin Tianyu, who was beside him, couldn't bear to rush forward. He stretched out his hand and grabbed the young man's wrist, and then pulled hard, the young man's body suddenly lost his balance, Lin Tianyu kicked the young man's leg, a sound of bone cracking sounded, and the young man's leg bone was directly kicked off by Lin Tianyu. Without the slightest pause, Lin Tianyu grabbed the young man's wrist and threw it hard, slamming the young man to the ground and stepping on it with one foot. This kick was so powerful that it directly depressed the young man's entire chest. It is estimated that not a single rib is good. Buff. A mouthful of blood spurted out of the youth's mouth, and his face became extremely hideous. This. Joe Zegan was dumbfounded, this young man was his confidant, and he was very strong. He had followed him for many years, but he was defeated by Lin Tianyu with three punches and two kicks, and he had no power to fight back. Lin Tianyu's strength increased a lot after taking the Julie pill. Of course, this young man can't be an opponent. At this time, He Zigang and Ji Yu Yufei were also stunned, they never thought that Lin Tianyu could fight so well. Damn, play black with me, when I FC UK with you, you are still breastfeeding. Lin Tianyu spat fiercely, and then kicked the young man's head, directly kicking the young man to death now, after killing the young man, Lin Tianyu looked at Joe Zegan, old man, do you want to try? Although Joe Zegan also had the kung fu, he was Lin Tianyu's opponent. He was so frightened that he stepped back and said with a pale face, you. Who are you? I can't change my name, I can't change my surname, Lin Tianyu is me. Lin Tianyu took out the momentum of his underground emperor, and his whole body was filled with murderous aura. Suddenly, Zhou Zigan's eyes widened, and the cold sweat on his forehead instantly flowed down. You, you are the underground emperor of Horendal, Lin Tianyu, no, 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 you are the tiger master of Horendal. Zhou Zigan also recognized Lin Tianyu at this time. He had seen Lin Tianyu on both sides before, but after a long time, he was not impressed. In addition, he never thought that Lin Tianyu, the dignified emperor, would come to Yuncheng without any pretense. At that time, Lin Tianyu looked familiar, so he didn't care. Now that Lin Tianyu said so himself, he finally remembered it. Tiger. Lord Tiger, it's all my fault that I have no eyes. Zhou Zigan knelt on the ground with a thud. Lin Tianyu is right, don't look at Zhou Zigan's fighting and killing before, he is majestic in Yuncheng, but in Lin Tianyu's eyes, it is all pediatrics, and Lin Tianyu's name is also well known in the surrounding cities. Regardless of whether the Wei family in the provincial capital dared to look down on Lin Tianyu, but in the surrounding cities of Horendal, which one dared to underestimate Lin Tianyu? Mr. Chen. Lin Tianyu glanced at David, how to deal with Zhou Zigan, David needed to speak. David walked directly to Zhou Zigan, I just said, if you do it, you will be a black shop here. I deal with black shops, but I don't like to follow the rules. Chapter 316 Uncle, spare your life, uncle, spare your life, I am willing to honor all the hundred-year-old medicinal materials in the store to the uncle. Zhou Zigan kept kowtowing, wishing he could slap himself twice. He has long seen that David is not an ordinary person, and there should be a power behind him, but he didn't expect that the power would be so large, even Lin Tianyu is a follower, I am afraid that in the entire Zhongbei province there are really not many people with such power. I won't ask for your medicinal materials for nothing. I don't have enough cash on my body now. I can exchange it with you for Xiao and Dan. I want you to buy as many medicinal materials of a hundred years old as possible from the entire market in Yuncheng. How much is it, you can ask Big Brother He to convert it into a small repayment pill and give it to you. David didn't snatch it, he couldn't make a one-shot deal, and he also counted on Zhou Zijan to provide him with precious medicinal materials for a long time. Little, Xiao Wandan. Zhou Zigan raised his head and looked at David in surprise, could it be? Could it be? That's right, I made Xiao Huan Dan, so don't make Xiao Huan Dan's idea, no one can make it except me. David knew what Zhou Zigan was going to say, so he nodded. Don't dare, don't dare. Zhou Zigan blushed. Okay, get up. David waved his hand and let Zhou Ji do it. Zhou Zijan hurriedly asked David to bring all the hundred-year-old medicinal materials in the store and let David take them away. Chen Chen. 
After walking out of Tongrentang, He Zigang wanted to talk to David, but he didn't know what to call David for a while. At first, he called David with the mentality of his big brother. But this time, He Zigang knew that his strength was far behind David, and he was embarrassed and didn't know what to call David. Is something wrong, brother He? David looked at the embarrassed He Zigang and asked. Oh, I, I just wanted to ask, what happened to Xiao Wandan, besides, is this other person really Horandelu? He Zigang secretly glanced at Lin Tianyu and said. After being in contact with Lin Tianyu for so long, He Zigang didn't even notice that this underground emperor of Horandel was too approachable. What? Brother he doesn't look like me. Lin Tianyu smiled at He Zigang. Like, like, He Zigang nodded, not daring to look directly into Lin Tianyu's eyes. David smiled and followed He Zigang to introduce Xiao Huandan, and he planned to let He Zigang be the agent of Xiao Huandan Cloud City. As for the raw materials of Xiao Huandan, it was also handed over to He Zigang. This kind of common medicinal material is almost everywhere in Yuncheng, and it is easy to get it together. Listening to David's introduction, He Zigang became more and more excited. If he could win the agent of Xiao Huandanyan City, it would be a steady stream of wealth. Brother David, don't worry, I will supply the medicinal materials, and all of them must be high-quality medicinal materials. He Zigang looked excited. It's noon soon, let's go to dinner, go to the biggest hotel, I will treat you. Along the way, Ji Yu Yufei's eyes always looked at David inadvertently. Like her age, she was at the age when her heart was sprouting. She looked at David's special man, masculine. If David wasn't Sonya's boyfriend, maybe she would take the initiative to pursue it. Sister Sonia, you are so lucky to have found such a good boyfriend. Ji Yu Yufei's eyes were full of envy. After arriving at the hotel, He Zigang ordered a table of dishes and called Ji Yu Yao, asking her to come over for dinner after get off work. When Ji Yu Yao came over with her bag on her back and wearing a professional attire, she looked at the table full of wine and vegetables, frowning slightly, isn't it too wasteful to order so many dishes with just these few people? Chapter 317. No waste, no waste, sit down quickly. He Zigang took Ji Yu Yao and sat down. Ji Yu Yao wiped her hands with a wet towel, looked at David and said, how do you feel after turning around for a long time? Do you know that there are people outside the sky? You can make medicinal herbs for a hundred years with one mouth. Those things are things that your children can play with. Right. Although my cousin's family is rich, I didn't let you bring it to Huo Huo. As soon as Ji Yu Yao's words came out, He Zigang and Ji Yu Yufei were both startled. Shut up. He Zigang glared at Ji Yu Yao, and then said apologetically, Brother David, I'm really sorry, Yu Yao has no malicious intentions. He Zigang, are you crazy? How dare you yell at me? Am I right? Ji Yu Yao yelled at He Zigang angrily. Sister, stop talking. Ji Yu Yufei hurriedly pulled Ji Yu Yao, pulled Ji Yu Yao aside, and He Zigang followed. The two of them whispered something to Ji Yu Yao. I saw Ji Yu Yao's complexion changed and changed, and she glanced at David from time to time. After a while, the three of them sat down on the table again, and Ji Yu Yao's face was a little ugly, looking very embarrassed. David smiled and said, let's eat. Several people started to move the chopsticks, but Ji Yu Yao's hand holding the chopsticks was shaking slightly. She lowered her head and didn't dare to look at David, let alone Lin Tianyu next to David. After eating, David gave He Zigang a medicine list and asked him to prepare according to the above herbs. In the afternoon, David did not go out in the hotel, but put together the Millennium Snow Lotus and the hundred-year-old medicinal materials from Tongrentang, and prepared to refine the Julingdan. Looking at the things with hundreds of millions of dollars on the ground, David did not have a single wave in his heart. After the curtain was drawn, David's dantian began to slowly rise up with spiritual power, and then the spiritual power gathered at David's fingertips. Turned into a light blue flame. Go. As soon as David waved his hand, the light blue flames instantly soared, wrapping up the medicinal herbs on the ground. Closed his eyes slightly, David muttered something in his mouth, and the light blue flame was flickering, and the medicinal materials of hundreds of millions of dollars were slowly turned into smoke under the burning of the flame. Congeal. David's eyes suddenly widened, and after a loud shout, the cloud of smoke suddenly gathered together like a life, and finally turned into a ball shape. About half an hour later, David suddenly exhaled, the smoke was blown away instantly, and in the smoke, a green medicinal pill floated in the air. It became. David was overjoyed, jumped up, and took the medicine pill directly in his hand. This elixir was made with hundreds of millions of medicinal materials. David held the elixir and his hands were trembling. With one mouth, David ate the medicine pill. Boom. A surging aura shot straight to the top of his head, and David felt that his body was about to explode. 
David, who was overjoyed, hurriedly sat cross-legged on the bed, and began to activate the heart concentration technique, refining these surging auras. Until the sun went down, David's eyes opened. At this time, he felt six clear and bright, and on the lively road downstairs, David could accurately detect the sound of small flying insects flapping their wings. Nine levels of chi practice, ha ha ha, nine levels of chi practice. David felt the breath of his dantian, and laughed wildly. He didn't expect that a spirit gathering pill would allow him to directly break through to the ninth level of chi training, and after seeing these hundreds of millions, there were no white flowers. The ninth level of chi training, is the peak of chi training. As long as David breaks through the chi training period, David can reach the foundation, and he can go to Wuming Island. It's just that a small realm is easy to break through, but to break through a big realm, I'm afraid it will be a little difficult, and it needs a certain opportunity. Chapter 318 After simply cleaning up, David walked out of the room and found that Lin Tianyu had been waiting outside the room for a long time. Mr. Chen, Heiji has just come and brought all the medicinal materials, waiting for you to have dinner together. Seeing David coming out, Lin Tianyu said immediately. Well, let's go. David did not expect that He Zigang was so efficient in his work. So many medicinal materials were prepared in half a day. You must know that these medicinal materials are used to refine a hundred small repayment pills. Walking downstairs to the hotel, David saw that He Zigang was instructing people to unload the truck, and a whole truckload of medicinal materials had been moved upstairs. Brother David, the medicinal materials are all ready, and I have opened two more rooms on the floor where you live to store medicinal materials. Seeing David coming down, He Zigang hurriedly said. Well, it won't take long. I estimate that these hundred small return pills will be refined in more than a day. David nodded. Let's go, let's go eat, this time I'll take you to eat Yunchung's special snacks, Yu Fei and the others have already gone. He Zigang smiled slightly. It can be seen that at this time, He Zigang is no longer afraid of David and Lin Tianyu. Go. David smiled. Because the snack street is not far from the hotel, David, Lin Tianyu and He Zigang walked towards the snack street. But just after walking not far, David's face suddenly changed, and his brows slightly wrinkled. Mr. Chen, have you noticed something? Lin Tianyu asked in a low voice. Well, someone is following behind. David nodded. Someone. Who is following us? He Zigang was surprised, he was about to look back. Don't look back. David put a hand on He Zigang's shoulder and didn't let him look back. Mr. Chen, otherwise you go first, and I will deal with the people behind. Killing intent flashed in Lin Tianyu's eyes. The people behind are very strong, you are afraid that you are not an opponent, we don't need to care about them, let's go. After David finished speaking, he continued to walk forward, but this time, instead of heading towards the snack street, he walked towards a darker alley. When David and the others had just walked into the alley, five people followed behind them, and the leader was the old housekeeper of the Wei family, Fu Bo. At this time, Uncle Fu was slightly hunched, his eyes staring at the alley. Uncle Fu, do we want to follow up? A Wei family expert asked. Well, let's follow up, it seems that they discovered us long ago and deliberately brought us in. Uncle Fu showed killing intent. I want to see what books these people have, so I can force me to come in person. After Fu Bo finished speaking, he walked towards the alley with four experts from the Wei family. As soon as I walked into the alley, I saw David, Lin Tianyu and He Zigang standing neatly, watching them walk into the alley. Are you from the Wei family? David asked with a calm expression when he saw Fu Bo and the others who came in. Boy, even knowing that we are from the Wei family, you still haven't run away, you seem to have some courage. Fu Bo sneered, but you broke our young master's leg, even if you have the courage, you can't save it. Your life. Wei family. The provincial capital Wei family. He Zhigong's expression changed. Yes. David nodded. Boom. He Zigang was so frightened that he almost didn't sit on the ground. In the entire Zhongbei province, who does not know the Wei family, the provincial capital, the Wei family is all powerful in the political and business circles of the provincial city, and they are very powerful. He Zigang didn't understand, who gave David the courage to even destroy the leg of the eldest young master of the Wei family. Although Lin Tianyu is very powerful, he can eat it in several cities around Horandal, but in front of Rinwei's family, it's really not enough. Seeing how frightened He Zigang was, Uncle Fu smiled with satisfaction, Today, I was ordered by the head of the family to take this kid back. If he dares to resist, he will kill him. Other irrelevant personnel, don't cause trouble, get out of here. Chapter 319 Uncle Fu was obviously meant to listen to He Zigang. After all, Uncle Fu came to arrest David. As for the others, he didn't want to hurt them, so as not to cause trouble. 
Brother He, you go to Sonia and the others first, and I'll be there later. David looked at He Zigang and said. He Zigang nodded and took two steps forward, but just took two steps, but stopped. Chen, Brother David, isn't it a bit boring for me to leave you all? He Zigang was a little tangled in his heart. David looked at He Zigang like that, and smiled slightly, Brother He, if you have any skills, it's useless to stay, let's go first. Even if He Zigang is gone, David will not blame him, after all, not everyone can dare to provoke the Wei family like him. He Zigang hesitated for a while, and finally gritted his teeth, I don't know how to kung fu, and I can't leave you guys behind. It would be too unethical. If we die, let's die together. He Zigang walked back to David's side again. Seeing that He Zigang was back, David smiled with relief, Brother He, if they are going to die, they will die, we will be fine. David has now reached the ninth level of Qi training, and he has already overlooked everything in his heart. No matter how strong this Fu Bo is, he will not be David's opponent. Okay, since you all want to die, then I will fulfill you. Uncle Fu's eyes froze, and he suddenly waved his hand, kill them. As soon as Uncle Fu's words fell, the four experts of the Wei family all pulled out their daggers and rushed forward with murderous expressions on their faces. When He Zigang saw this, he was so frightened that he stepped back and his face turned pale. David was in front of He Zigang and did not make a move, while Lin Tianyu pulled out his belt to meet him. Lin Tianyu fought 1-4, to four, and he didn't even lose the wind. The belt in his hand was waving like a tiger. In the dark alley, when the belt and the dagger touched, there was a crisp sound, and there were occasional fire splashes. Uncle Fu frowned, seeing that the four of them couldn't even take a single Lin Tianyu, and immediately roared, a bunch of trash, get out of the way. After hearing this, the master of the Sima Wei family hurriedly withdrew from the battle, and Uncle Fu's hunched body, like a dafeng spreading its wings, instantly jumped up and charged towards Lin Tianyu. When Lin Tianyu saw this, he suddenly waved the belt in his hand and pulled it towards Fu Bo who was in the air. And that Uncle Fu didn't dodge or dodge, he stretched out his hand and grabbed Lin Tianyu's belt, suddenly pulled it with force, and then put his feet on Lin Tianyu's abdomen. Bang bang bang. After a few kicks in a row, Lin Tianyu was kicked back and forth again and again, without the strength to parry. In the end, Lin Tianyu had no choice but to loosen his belt and roll on the ground, avoiding Fu Bo's attack. Even so, Lin Tianyu's face was ugly, and there was blood overflowing from the corners of his mouth. HMPH, with this little skill, you dare to do it with me. Uncle Fu threw Lin Tianyu's belt on the ground with a look of disdain. It's really good, I just used you as a sparring partner today. David sneered and walked towards Fu Bo. He has broken through the ninth level of Qi training, and he has not tried his strength yet. Today, I just used Fu Bo to try it. Sparring. Fu Bo coldly snorted, the price of my sparring is a bit high, that is, handing over your life. As soon as the words fell, Fu Bo's figure was like a cannonball that was fired, and he rushed directly toward David. David stopped and looked at Fu Bo who was rushing over, with a bit of disdain on his face, and there was no sign of dodging. Bang. With a dull loud noise, Uncle Fu's quick punch hit David fiercely. But before that Fu Bo was happy, he suddenly felt that a huge anti-shock force bounced back down Fu Bo's arm. Chapter 320. What? Uncle Fu was shocked and hurriedly stepped back. But it was too late, that anti-shock force seemed to be alive, wandering around Fu Bo. Fu Bo's arm drooped down weakly, obviously it was broken. Clap clap clap. Immediately afterwards, there was a crackling sound, and Fubo's clothes seemed to be torn by something, and they all burst open. No, it's impossible, how is it possible? Uncle Fu's eyes were full of horror, but before he could finish speaking, a mouthful of blood mixed with visceral slag spurted out. PFFT. Uncle Fu fell to the ground dead, his eyes wide open, he couldn't rest his eyes. In the end, he didn't even understand how he died, and at this time, his internal organs had long been shaken by the anti-shock force. When the Four Way family masters saw this, they all trembled with fright, and they didn't even have the courage to run away. Uncle Fu died so inexplicably, it caused a lot of pressure to their hearts. David stepped forward, squatted down and twisted hard, twisting Fu Bo's head off. Throwing Uncle Fu's head in front of the Four Masters of the Wei family, David said coldly, take the head back to Wei Kunin and tell him that I will go to the provincial capital sooner or later and turn his head off. The four-way family masters nodded again and again, and finally picked up Fu Bo's head, turned around and ran away. Let's go. David looked back at He Zigang. He Zigang was dumbfounded at this moment, his eyes were dull, and he followed behind David. The scene just now, I am afraid it will take He Zigang a long time to digest, after all, this is beyond his cognition, his brain can't understand it. 
when he got to the snack street, He Zhigong's expression still didn't improve. A group of people were eating and drinking, but he was the only one who didn't talk much. It seems that this time it was really exciting for him. After eating, David locked himself in the room, didn't sleep for a whole night, and tried his best to refine Xiao Dan. He knew that he was working hard at this time to reveal his life experience faster, and he really wanted to do you know who your mother is. What is so scary about the Dragon Island? After dawn the next day, David just had a simple meal, and then continued to refine Xiao Dan. At this time, in the provincial capital of the Wei family, four masters of the Wei family knelt on the ground, all of them trembling with fright, while Wei Kunin looked at the head of Uncle Fu with anger on his face. Buff. Suddenly, Wei Kunin was in a hurry, and a mouthful of blood spurted out. Master. The four Wei family masters hurriedly got up and helped Wei Kunin sit down. Wei Kunin, don't brag if you don't have that ability. If the Zhang family were to take action, this matter would have been resolved long ago. Now it's good, even Uncle Fu is dead. Before Zhang Lanfang entered the room, an angry voice came. She also hurried over after hearing that Fubo was killed. But just after entering the door, seeing the blood on the corner of Wei Kunin's mouth, he was suddenly startled, and a bit of distress flashed in his eyes. Don't look at the usual beatings and scolding, but Zhang Lanfang is still very distressed if Wei Kunin really has something to do. After all, the two have been married for many years. Lady. Seeing Zhang Lanfeng coming, the four-way family masters all shouted respectfully. I ask you, is this Uncle Fu that David killed? Zhang Lanfeng glanced at Uncle Fu's head. Yes. Said one of the Wei family masters. It seems that David didn't kill you because he wanted you to bring back Uncle Fu's head. Zhang Lanfeng continued to ask. Yes, and he also asked us to speak, saying that he would come to the provincial capital and twist the master's head off. A master of the Wei family said with a trembling body. Arrogant, Zhang Lanfeng patted it with a palm, and the head of the Wei family master was shot directly.